the more safe the body feels, the less reactive the mind has to be. And when the mind is less reactive, it doesn't get in the way of what's happening. And then these cycles of self-sabotage can stop. Oftentimes, again, we're just looking at like the top layer, like, oh, why did I sabotage myself? I'm so stupid, right? But it had nothing to do with that. That was the action that already happened. What is underneath all of that, right? Like we gotta go much deeper than what the mind is doing is this feeling of lack of safety, of lack of connection, a lack of resource in the body. A lot of you guys have probably been in a relationship, you know, you know, you say this thing, they get upset over there, then you posture it this way, you tell them, no, that's not what I meant, right? Like, and there's this posturing that happens, but the truth is you kind of know from the word go exactly what's gonna happen over the next few hours, exactly what's gonna happen over the next few days. It's like you've done that so many times. Like, and then you blame the other person again, because you don't want to look at your own experience. And so it's like, it's them, they need to change. That's got to change out there. It's not me. And it convinces you of this. And boom, the sabotage happens again. But again, you want to notice the sabotage is familiar. It seems to be the same thing over and over again. If something in your life is happening over and over again, just as an inquiry to yourself is like, could I be the common denominator here?